So far, you have learned about manifest, modules, and how to make an API call in the Forge app. The next essential you will learn is how to store, manage, and retrieve data. Forge has a built-in database, so you don't need to set one up. Forge storage is fundamentally designed to prevent accidental data exposure. Stored data is partitioned per site. This means each app only has access to its own data. For sensitive credentials, Forge Secure Storage API provides special methods that use encryption for storage and retrieval. To interact with your database, Forge provides a JavaScript API. It allows you to set, delete, and retrieve data from storage on Atlassian's infrastructure. Your app data is stored in the form of key-value pairs. The storage API can store any JSON data type except null. Examples include booleans, strings, integers, arrays, and objects. Forge also provides custom entities for more complex storage needs. These are user-defined data structures you can set, get, and delete values from. The values are objects with multiple attributes of different types. To begin using Forge Storage in your app, you need to add the storage property to your manifest.yaml file. The manifest is also where you define any custom entities your app will use. Then at the top of your JavaScript file, you will need to import storage and all query methods you plan to use from the Forge API package. To store a piece of data, you will use the storage.set method. The set method takes two arguments. First is the key, which must be a string. Second is the value, which can be one of several JSON data types. For storing a custom entity, the process is similar, but you use the entity method instead of set. To retrieve data that's been stored, you need to construct a query. The storage.query method forms the basis of the Query Builder API. It allows you to build complex queries using where, limit, cursor, get many, and get one. For example, to look up all keys that start with a certain value, you can use storage.query with where and starts with. Keep in mind that with entities, a query must specify the entity name and index. Finally, to delete a value, use the delete method with the corresponding key. Force storage makes it easy to manage data in your app. You don't need to provision your own database, and Forge lets you store data on Atlassian's infrastructure. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips.